Ahoy, shipmates. It's another lovely afternoon at the port of Southampton. You can just see one of the Red Funnel car ferries making its way to the Isle of Wight. You can also see the Azure. There's a Glovis car carrier in the background. The Glovis Solomon. Closer to us, we have the Queen Victoria. Next to the Queen Victoria, We have the Britannia. And next to the, the Britannia is the Red Funnel Eagle, a commercial vessel. It's uh, interesting times at the moment. The port of Southampton is not very busy, but there are many vessels tied up that you wouldn't expect to see. The Britannia is docked at the traditional cruise port terminal, but the Queen Victoria is actually at a different berth. This berth is not normally used for cruise ships. Berth Dock Gate number 44 has a very significant history for the Port of Southampton as this is where the Titanic sailed from on her ill-fated maiden voyage. In fact, it was 15th of April 1912 when the Titanic sank. This is a small tribute to that ship. And here is that same berth, 44, with the a photograph of the Titanic leaving port. The Titanic was built in Belfast, but sailed on a maiden voyage from Southampton. Many of the crew aboard the Titanic were from Southampton. It has some historical importance for the port. Now it's not often that you get two cruise ships in the port of Southampton docked so closely next to each other. But although the cruise ship activity has come to a halt and with the latest news from the CTC in America that no cruises should take part for another 100 days there is a chance we won't be seeing much activity for cruise ships any time this summer but life goes on in the port and goods are a particular importance if you look on the dock side here, you can see the massive car parks for brand new vehicles coming in and out of the port. And there are also a number of interesting commercial vehicles. In fact, I've got my eye on something in particular down there. Slightly jealous of the size of this one, but looks to me like a nice big helicopter. Some earth movers, steamroller. And at 
the end you can see Azura. to see cruise ships uh, docked next to each other and there's also the red funnel eat red kestrel which is the commercial only goods vehicle um, goods ferry to the Isle of Wight I think, I'll, I think I might come in for a photo opportunity this looks like it could be a good one Something for the bedroom wall, perhaps. Or maybe the downstairs cloakroom. But along with the cruise ships, the red jet is now also suspended. The red jet is the high-speed catamaran service between Southampton and Cowles on the Isle of Wight. If you need to be a foot passenger, you now have to travel on the red funnel, which takes an hour rather than the 20 minutes of the red jet. Until next time, shipmates.